is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with an exciting video on Marvel Strikes Force newest patch. I'm sure you guys have seen it right now already in the mailbox, but I wasn't actually expecting Silver Surfer to join us already. Uh, there was a lot of rumors he was coming in April and May, but turns out he is in the game now officially. So um, if you guys have money that are looking to spend, Definitely, he's available now via uh, payment through the supply store. But for me, I'm going to see how they're going to actually release him. And you bet, it looks like it is going to be through the first season of the Strike Pass. So I'm going to look forward to that. Fortunately, you know what the drill is. With him entering into the game as the newest character, you bet we are going to capitalize on putting on some red star orbs here. Uh, I'm really just going to go all out here. I'm going to use everything I got because he is that good of a character. Uh, we are going to see how good we can get with the red stars. Then we'll also dive into his kit in more detail in terms of the T4 recommendations. So with that being said, you guys, let's get started. Um, you can see I got 31 here. I'm hoping to get duplicates and therefore it should be able to give us some uh, some Elite 4, Elite 5 hopefully. But just to make sure always, just make sure you're hitting that yeah, the I here for additional information. And just to double check, you just never know with some of these patches. Um, scrolling all the way to the bottom here and seeing that in fact Silver Surfer does give us that extra 15%. So looks good to us. So with that being said, let's get started. You know, it's nice that uh, this character is actually being added already. I, I was actually afraid, you know, um, generally Scopely, what they like to do is add a lot of characters, uh, especially introduce them, but then later on actually bring them to the game just to kind of build that hype, right? So you can see right now from these roles, nothing too crazy here in terms of uh, uh, getting anything, but really we're going to be capitalizing on these it's duplicates. I'm expecting a lot of duplicates just because I've built up a lot of uh, three and fours um, as you can see right there. Wow, that is the target generally I like to go for the three red, but you know what because this is silver surfer I am willing to kind of gamble a little bit more today just due to the fact that um, He's gonna be such a formidable force. He's you know, he's already um, Forecasted to be the breaker of the meta especially with black order sitting at the very top uh, with silver surfer He's gonna break that that mold. So that's really what I'm looking forward to Nice, we got a beautiful upgrade here, uh, surprisingly. You know, I don't usually get this much, but a purple in these red star orbs is very well appreciated. Got an anti-venom there as well. Already got the five red, but that's quite all right. Again, um, you know, with these guys, of uh, these red star orbs, we can always replace them. So that's why it's kind of nice. We can build it up through the time, but it's not very often we get such a formidable character, uh, such a silver surfer. So that's why I'm willing to put more into it. And hopefully, you know, ideally, if I can get a four red on him, that's really what I'm gunning for. But yes, I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. You know, uh, I've been just saving and saving and um, I didn't realize there was gonna be such a beautiful character, such a silver server. So nice that they actually finally rolled it out. And um, you know, cause I've been hoarding a little bit on these red stars as well. But as well, you guys can see how uh, terribly awesome or terribly, uh, you know, horrible my RNG here as well, right? But we did get a couple of uh, purples. Um, we, you know, we got the three red there with, uh, with silver surfer. So I, you know, that's quite all right with me. Um, and at the end of the day, oh, as you can see, consistently getting three odds. So I am liking, I am liking these odds. You know, so far hasn't been terrible. Um, but again, I'm willing to risk it right now to get a higher red because especially when we dive into his kit later, you're going to see how he does actually rely on having pretty strong um, uh, red stars. You know, he, some of his abilities does actually scale with that. So that's exactly why I'm willing to do this. To just waste all the um, the red star orbs here because builds up the duplicate credits. Um, we're going to gamble a little bit here, but that's quite all right. Again, uh, you do want to be doing this for characters that uh, are especially meta changing. Um, there's a lot of hype with him right now. He's going to be probably a meta, a meta game breaker here, especially when it comes to the Black Order, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, really kind of shaping up the new arena, and it's going to be interesting in how he meshes along with Doctor Doom as well. Once we get access to him, uh, you know, hopefully uh, the more Dark Dimension 4 materials come, it's easier for us to farm, and obviously, uh, slowly but surely, players will get access to Doctor Doom. But me, by no means am I close at all. Um, you know, for me, I still have quite a ways. Uh, you can see even a duplicate on the four there for a red guardian. But you know what? A couple of purple, so I can't complain. I will show you guys the overview as well, so we can kind of review what we got from that. But I believe that was about 31 or 32 uh, red star orbs. So let's go ahead and provide the summary here. So you can see here, um, in summary, uh, the new ones here, you can see that it was like the, uh, the three for Silver Surfer. We got a Deadpool and then the Killmonger here. Uh, so good stuff and a bunch 10,000 of the uh, leave for credit. So with that being said here You bet we are gonna move over here I ideally would have wanted more here, but you know what we do get three chances So you know what why the heck not? Let's go ahead and utilize this because it's not again It's not every day we get that extra 15% increase 
And as I progress here, I probably will try to chance my luck. Oh, wow. So there you guys have it. Um, But you know what? Just because of the fact that we still have two built up and I'm likely not going to use it for a while, such as a character, but we got the four red there. Let's go ahead and use these two here. Maybe we can get even luckier. Um, but all these guys are definitely much appreciated because they're likely going to be upgrades for me. So Crystal there with the upgrade. Last but not least, fingers crossed here. Yeah, and then the four red on, uh, unfortunately, on Rhino, but uh, that did give us the, the duplicate, but not enough for Elite 5. So there you guys have it. We got the Elite 4 on Silver Surfer, which to me is pretty damn good because especially when you guys go here to, this, to the supplies and you're purchasing, um, you can see any of the, uh, the Elite 4 should normally cost 50 of the Silver Credits. So that's quite a bit that's going to be saving me. I can easily upgrade to Silver Surfer later. With that being said, let's dive in actually to his kit now. I have kind of quickly gone over it before in my earlier video um, preliminary, but now that we can kind of see actually how um, he's actually gonna look here overall at the very end here, how he's gonna look with his T4. So let's go ahead. We're gonna analyze more. Um, Cosmic Crackle, uh, this basic attack is very beautiful because essentially what happens is he transfers the negative conditions from himself um, really away from him to the primary target. On top of that, if there is any positive effects, he also strips that as well. So no matter what, he's gonna have that beautiful ability to be able to kind of benefit himself regardless of the situation. And the beautiful thing about this ability is that it's also cannot be counterattacked. So he can also uh, apply this when he's actually assist attacking as well. Um, if you were to T4 this, he actually transfers all the positive or the negative effects. So this in my eyes is actually worth T4ing, very, very prominent. You can see here that it only goes up to two for the negatives or positives, right? So by being able to transfer all, because most of the time if you're working with a really good team in terms of having all these different negative effects or positive, being able to take more than just two is very, very beneficial. So his basic is very powerful already. Sentinel of the Spaceways. Um, this is a special attack, essentially attacking all adjacent targets. Um, the nice ability, uh, the nice the special advantage of this ability is the fact that it applies disruption to the primary target as well as defense down to the secondary. So you can see level six gets you quite a bit of additional bonus as well. If you were to T4 this, you get a sizable boost in damage, but really the big reason you want to use this for a T4 is the, the, gonna be the disruption for two turns, really shutting down a character for two turns. So again, another ability I would actually recommend T4ing, especially with it being a special ability. Um, it's definitely gonna be utilized more than his ultimate likely due to the lower energy cost. So um, another ability I do recommend T4ing. Next, it is gonna be Event Horizon Ultimate. Um, he's attacking all the enemies here for his piercing damage. And the beautiful thing about this is that it actually clears all the charges. So think of characters like Cyclops, Storm, um, even Colossus. He's going to be able to strip away all those conditions and the positive effects. Um, if you were to just bring this up to the level 6, you can see that on top of that, he also applies the ability block for two whole turns, really once again shutting down the primary target. So bringing Server, Silver Surfer on board, he can really, with a special and ultimate, he can really shut down a character for four total turns if he was just a single target, one attack on a single um, target. But on top of that, don't forget his secondary impact where he actually strips away charges or applies defense down as noted in the special. That's why Silver Surfer is such a devastating character. If you were to T4 this, you can see that on top of applying that ability block, he also applies and clears the immunity from all enemies, really kind of bypassing you know, characters such as Emma Frost. On top of that, if it doesn't get any worse, you guys, applying an, a, a, a heal block as well for two turns. So Yuri get the heal block originally here for one turn, but by getting it for two turns, that is just absolute devastation on top of stripping away all their conditions. So you can tell already, um, Silver Surfer is just gonna be such a formidable offensive juggernaut. And on top of that, I don't know if you guys have saw here too, but all of his attacks cannot be blocked or counterattacked. So good luck getting through that, right? Um, and just when you think it couldn't get any better, Last but not least, the Power Cosmic Passive. On his spawn, he gets defense up. If you were to level this ability all the way up with the T4, he's gonna get defense up for three whole turns. And on top of that, he also lowers the resistance of any enemies that have the heal block. Oh, and by the way, I already mentioned it before, but his ultimate synergizes with this immensely because he's already applying heal block with his ultimate. So uh, by doing that, he's just gonna be able to further redu reduce their resistance. On top of that, he's also gonna gain offense up whenever there's a non-Simon non ally death. Um, on top of that, if there is another Hero Cosmic ally, he's gonna gain additional 50% focus. So really, that really provides that viability of Silver Server working with other Cosmic Hero characters, gaining that synergy there. And it gives, if you guys have seen here too, if there's a visit, villain Cosmic enemy that he's facing up against, 
he's also going to gain additional resistance. So he's really built to kind of face up against Doom as well, but really synergizing as well with the Hero Cosmic characters. With that being said, it doesn't mean he can't actually group up with Doom. Um, it just means that there's more versatility, especially when you're facing up against enemies like that. So um, really, really offensive Juggernaut here. You can see the amount of bonuses he can get from his T4s. I honestly can't say enough good things about this character. Every one of his abilities, I would T4. And um, if I were you guys, I would just try to use as much Red Star Orbs as you can because this guy is going to be a meta changer, um, an absolute offensive juggernaut that we haven't seen in the likes of Marvel Strike Force for a while. So uh, I'm glad they brought him in already. And just look how amazing his character skin looks, you know. Absolute justice done to this, uh, to this character model as well as the character kit itself. So with that being said, you guys, as always, do appreciate you checking out my video and channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of this video. And good luck in your Red Star Orb opening as well. Wish you guys all the best. And as always, I will see you in the next one.